guys, it's Sam, and today I'm unboxing the July Owl Crate box. Owl Crate did send me this box in exchange for an honest unboxing video. So this box is very exciting because it's the first time that they've done a theme that splits boxes between two different themes, kind of. So this month's theme is good versus evil. So there's going to be a good box and an evil box, and half the subscribers will get good boxes and half of them will get evil boxes, etc. So I'm very excited. The book, I believe, is the same but the things inside are themed for good versus evil. I'm really hoping for an evil box because that is obviously my aesthetic, but I'm going to be happy with either one. I don't want to spoil myself because the Funko Pop is on top. This month's box, everyone is getting a full-size Funko Pop, so I don't want to look and see what it is. <laughs> yes! So I got the evil box, I'm so excited. This just made my whole day. So I'm not gonna read this, obviously this has spoilers on it, but this is the good versus evil kind of promotional card. Evil box, yes. I was thinking about this since I got this box. I was like, I need to get the evil box. Like, I must have it. I need to have the evil box. Like, it was a thing, so. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is like Christmas. Oh my God. I'm dying. Okay, so obviously the Funko Pop is the first thing that I got, and it is Draco Malfoy. I'm dying. Okay. Like, I very rarely buy my own Funko Pops because I save them for gifts for people because I think it's just fun and, like, it, it's just what I do so I never buy my own. But my little trash child, like, I'm so excited. Like, I, I would never have, like, bought him myself. But now I need to buy Hermione so they can sit next to one another on my shelf because I can't have him and then not have, like, Hermione because my OTP. Oh my gosh. Look at that, like, stark white hair. And even though he has no mouth, I can tell he has a sassy face. Like, trash family. I just love them so much. Oh my gosh, this is great. I'm so excited. So the next thing I'm seeing is a magnetic bookmark, and this is the Wonderland set number one from Jane's Tiny Things, which is tiny magnetic bookmarks. And the back says, the queen turned crimson with fury and began screaming off with her head. So it is the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, which is cute. This is a really cute one, because usually I feel like these kind of things just would show like the back of the head instead of having like a little quote on it. I really like magnetic bookmarks and I have a few sets of them, but I never use them. I always use paper ones, which is bad. I need to start actually using them because I have plenty. I'm looking at my collection of them right now and I just don't use them. Oh man, this is, this is a great box, okay? Like I usually love any of the subscription boxes that I get. I think all of them that I've gotten have been very well curated and everything, but like, this box, guys, is my aesthetic and all the things that I love in life, and this little sticker proves it. This has Am I Not Merciful, which you guys know is a quote from Illumine, from, like, the villain kind of an Illumine. Like, I just, I just, I just, I need to contain myself. So I'm seeing a little box from Vector Engraving, which is an Etsy shop. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I am so excited. It is a Death Star necklace. I just, I mean, if you guys don't know, because like, I mean, this is true of the whole world basically, but I love Star Wars and I pretty much sing the Imperial March in my head like every day because it speaks to me on a deep emotional level. Like Kylo Ren is my trash son and Anakin Skywalker is also my trash son who hates sand. And like, I just, I just, I can't actually clasp this right now, but I might need to go and get Gerald so he can actually like fix this for me because I need to wear it every day of my life. Jer, can you come help me with this necklace? So the last thing in here is the book, which is all packaged up and stuff, so I can't show you quite yet. And the book is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, and I actually am like the only person who didn't pre-order this book. I wasn't sure if I wanted to read it. I was feeling like I don't really know because it's supposed to be kind of like monster-y and stuff, and you guys know I'm a really big baby when it comes to horror, but I've heard some reviews about it, and it sounds like something I can read. So I was like, ah, oh, I should have bought it, and like, oh, should I buy it, and da da da. And now I have it, which is really great. And I, people kept saying like, I was talking to the Wolfpack in a group chat like right before I started this, and they were all saying like, oh, I kind of guessed the book for the Owlcrate box this month. And I was like, 
I don't know what it is. Like, I have no idea. I didn't even think of this one. So this was like a complete surprise. And for once, I wasn't spoiled for the Owl Crate box before actually opening my own box. So this is exciting. I do have a mixed history of the Schwab, Victoria Schwab, because I love the archived, but I didn't like A Darker Shade of Magic. So like, what, what? And I haven't read any other books. I know I need to read Vicious. I know, like, I got it, but I still haven't. So maybe this will be like the breaking vote for how I feel about her. I'm excited though. This is like, I didn't expect to have this when I opened it and now I do. And that's just really exciting. So it does come with a little letter from Victoria Schwab and a little signature signed book plate to put in the book. And in here also is a little YA cover to color and it has different pages of YA books to color. I'm really bad about coloring. Like I have, I think three of the adult coloring books and I've colored like three pages total out of all of them. And I own like really nice markers and like colored pencils and stuff and then I don't use it because I am trash. The last thing in here is a little hint about next month's box. So it says the theme for August is Fast Times at YA High. And it says that the August box will include an exclusively designed piece of jewelry inspired by Eleanor and Park. So I do have a discount code for Owl Crate. It is Tomes and you get 15% off your purchase no matter what level of purchase that is, whether it's a gift or anything. I do not receive any kind of compensation for that code. That is just for you guys to get money off. So feel free to use it if you've heard about Owl Crate through me or you like my unboxings or whatever. I mean, feel free to use it for whatever reason. Like you don't even have to like me. You can still use the code. Like, it's totally fine. I'm still not over the fact that I got the evil box. Like, God bless. So that is it for the July Owl Crate box. Comment down below and let me know if you have read this Savage Song and what you thought of it. And also if you feel like you would better fit the evil box or the good box. So thank you all for watching. I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.